this is Sound Out here with a Transformers Revenge of the Fallen review. This time a Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Soundwave. Yes, one of my favorite Revenge of the Fallen figures because it's Soundwave. Yeah. Um, yep, that's why he's one of my favorites because he's Soundwave. Um, so I'm really glad he got into the movie this time. Um, now, behind this you might see a little gold foil sticker. This says... First issue, BotCon 2009, first issue, BotCon 52809, BotCon 52809, BotCon 52809, all around. Delete guard, BotCon symbol. Yes, I got this at BotCon 2009 on the first day of issue. And they actually gave you that sticker to apply yourself. So those of you um, buying these later with the stickers applied, know that the stickers weren't applied automatically someone applied it for you. Um, yeah. Because they, what if they, if they, you know, because they could only get those out the first day after the two and a half hour line wait. Um, Sally is pretty cool. He, he's a Cybertronian mode, but he's not having an Earth mode, at least Hasbro isn't making one. Um, so he's probably not going to have one in the movie. Uh, but, anyway, um, this is, uh, this was my first Revenge of the Fallen figure, uh, the only one I got first day of issue. It does come with a missile. It is molded kind of like Ravage's entry mode. Um, it loads into his back, the little missile port there, and um, demoing it will fire like that. So, you know, pretty cool. Uh, it's a neat missile. Um, I like it. Uh, I'm going to leave it out since it shoots off very easily. Um, he, this, he was packaged in robot mode because his vehicle modes are a little too big. Um, but, for articulation, he's got ball joint shoulders. He's got double joint elbows, the kind you don't like. But, yeah, I'm all, I did over it. He's got these cool blades on the arms. He's got um, outward leg movement, forward back leg movement. Um, kind of a ball joint there. Uh, knees, and he's got these little toes that pivot. Oh, and he has a ball joint neck. He can move in and out. Um, now, he has all these little sound orbs around him, is what I'm calling them. Um, he's even got a couple on his back, even. And then he's got these cool things. He's got kind of a feature here where you can um, extend these out for like a sound blast attack. And it's like you know, putting him in this kind of pose going. Um, so he's pretty cool. You do have some options in the back kibble here. Uh, and really that's where his vehicle modes are based. Um, you can have them like pointing out, but really it looks best out as a cape there. Um, and this part that actually tabs into the waist there. Um, it's well, all I could say for the wrong mode. He's got a very G1-ish head. Um, he is slightly short, I should say. He's kind of about the same size as Starscream. Um, which may bug some people, but really doesn't me. Um, here he is with his G1 counterpart. G1 Commemorative Edition Toys R Us exclusive Soundwave. I'm actually coming out with a Toys R Us exclusive sound wave for Ranger of the Fallen that is repainted in G1 colors. That I am so excited to see it back on. I mean, I was really excited. Um, so yeah, there he is with the G1 sound wave. Um, yep, for the tra for the transformation, he's got two modes. He's got a jet and a satellite. I'll fold these up. I'll go into the jet first. It's kind of easier to get to. So I'll pull all these panels around. Um, Come on the back, pull this up, and pull down this little piece here. Um, notice that, that those uh, those little orbs collapsed. You gotta pull his head down and flip up this little panel. And that'll cover his head right there, so you don't see it on the bottom. Well, fold up the little toes, and bring them up into his little um, what you might call it, his uh, connection. And then you gotta connect them together to make another little sound orb. Um, at least hope to, um, close that back up. Um, so you got kind of like this little mess here. It's kind of easy to transform. Um, then you want to fold the arms up like this, and then fold up the little blades. So fold the arm up like this, and fold up the little blade. Um, then you, you see you got kind of a little vehicle mode going on, so you just fold these panels like this, bring the shoulders up, kind of covering his head a little bit more, Bringing those little sound panels again um, back on there. 
And there you have um, his jet mode, at least how I like to put it. He's got cool little sound jets. He's got wow, wow, um, he's got some kind of like you know thing to with sound wave or with the animate sound wave. Um, the missile does load in here. It's kind of useless back in this mode. Um, that's pretty much all you can say for the jet mode. I'll just uh, now for the satellite mode, you just kind of rearrange stuff. You know, I would focus around the missile port when you're rearranging. There's no set way, really. Um, I kind of like doing this crazy thing where I fold, where you can fold these things down, pull these, um, pull these away from the missile launcher, kind of focus it around the missile launcher, kind of thing, and um, and those around those little uh, clear plastic bits, and you know you can go. Uh, these get solar panels that are really reflective, and I don't know how they did it. Um, and this figure's so cool. I don't know what it is. It's just so cool. So he's got... So there's what I like to call a satellite mode. Um, you can load the missile of Ravage. And then, you know, he's like, Ravage deployed! Wow, they actually ricocheted that time. Um, so pretty cool. I really like the little sound beams. I kind of, like, focus so those are kind of exposed, so you can kind of, like, bounce transmissions around. Um... Overall, I would really recommend this figure, especially if you're trying to get a complete Re Revenge of the Fallen cast. Um, or if you're just a Soundwave fan. You, if you don't like the movie um, too much, which... Um, you don't like the movie, but you love Soundwave, and you're like a G1 fan, it's kind of a nice um, update. Uh, he, he's not total G1 Soundwave. Um, if you're not too keen on on the, the colors, wait for the G1 uh, Soundwave. That comes with another Fallen and another Megatron. That's the first movie Voyager, which I avoided opening. Now I'm going to have to open one just for that blue sound wave, and I don't care what murderous trial I have to go through to get the blue sound wave. It's going to be it. I'm going to encounter Voyager movie Megatron. Um, but yes, I would really recommend this figure. Um, not coming from a sound wave fan, I think this is really um, a good tribute to sound wave. And if you get Soundwave, you gotta go for, you know, Laserbeak, which is actually Dead End or Detour, and Ravage, you know? Um, you gotta get all three, it's the Soundwave trifecta. He's not in the movie, so, uh, oh well. <laughs> you don't have to call him Dead End, you can call him Laserbeak like I am. And there's also Ravage, and Ravage is like... <laughs> Actually, I think I'll review him next. Um, well, anyway, until next time, this is Sandout saying goodbye.